You're free. You must be careful that they must not stop you from work. Okay. Amen. I'm sure you're hearing me. Yes. You know what has been happening. Yes, I know. You know, these attacks at work. You know, you must pray that they must not stop you. Amen. You know, so, but as I'm praying for you, I'm believing Jesus will fight for you. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. There's a woman that is conspiring against you. Amen. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> I can't hear you. Huh? Uh, I'm aware of that. You are aware of that. That's why you are laughing. So there are people who still believe that there's no prophets. Eh? There's, can I tell you again? I know this woman. Because when I'm speaking with you, I'm seeing the woman standing close to you. I saw a woman. She has been fighting you. And there was a time she was acting like she's a friend. Yes. Did you tell your husband? Huh? Yes, yes. He sir. knows about that. Yes. So I want to tell you, the grace of God will make you to sit on top of her. Amen. And you know what you must do? Don't say anything. Don't even say anything. You know, don't fight her. She speaks against you and you know that. Huh? I know. I, I can't hear you. Yes, I know. Now, let me tell you, don't say anything. Amen. Just enter there like you know nothing. Amen. You work like you know nothing. Amen. You pack your stuff late like you know nothing. You leave. Amen. When you want to see God fighting for you, don't say anything. I'm sure all of you are hearing me here. Amen. Huh? Amen. Because you are fighting your own battles. Don't take the glory that is not yours. If you see someone fighting you, close your mouth. If you really know who God is. I'm sure I'm speaking to someone here. Amen. Huh? Amen. Go and do that. You will see. God will say, not my children. The favor of God comes to people in different ways. You cannot ask God why he hates Esau and why he loves Jacob. Can you ask him that? You can't. So now, Mama, you get there, close your mouth. You work, work, work. Because this lady, the reason why I'm taking time on you, this lady, she's dangerous. Amen. That's why I'm taking to She's dangerous. If you read the word of God, the word of God says, Jesus, when they were weeping him 39 times, and that thing that they were using to hit him, when it comes back, it comes out with flesh. But the Bible says, Jesus never says, never said anything. Close his mouth. And you ask, what is it that Jesus has done? Nothing. So even you, don't defend yourself. Tell your neighbor, don't defend yourself. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Don't defend yourself. Leave them. You leave them to do what they want to do with you. Jesus was a man that he will never say anything if you find the truth in him. You know, when I was telling you, when I was standing there, the word of God said, Jesus, that day when they were beating him, he said, Shut! So that thing, when it comes back, blood will say, Phew. and he never said a single word. Let me tell you something. One day, for the first time, I don't know why God made me to experience that. I have never killed a sheep. You see a sheep? I've never killed it. 
One day, I came here to church. You know, they said we must kill a sheep. I, that day I was disturbed. Huh? I was really, from that day I said, I don't want to eat this thing again. You know, I took a knife on here. Yeah, sure, sure. It was quiet. It was looking at me like this. I said, eh? Because I'm used to killing goats. You know a goat, the minute you catch by the leg, you say, yeah, 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 yeah. But that day, oh, for the, and I don't know why God made me to experience that for the first time. I was killing the sheep, it was quiet. Quiet. Until it died. I don't know if whether God wanted me to experience what was happening with Jesus that day. Because imagine you are with a knife. It's just quiet looking at you. Quiet. I said, from today, I will never eat this thing again. Ask my wife, you know, I don't eat it. And not because, you know, I, I'm, I'm a choosy person that I can't eat. Uh, even if you cook it, I look at it like this. Say, is this a sheep? I always ask her, is this a sheep? If she says yes, I say, no, I'm fine. Jesus died for you so that today you must have life. Amen. But those that are wise even today, they still speak against you. Those that think that they know everything, those who think they know the minutes of their lives, how long they will live. One day I said to people, when your stomach is full, people talk too much. Focus on you and Jesus. This week, go and find, at least even if it's a day, just fast, just a day, you will never have energy to speak about another person. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Terrace Missionary Church. This is our Sunday live service and uh, the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makananisa. And with me here today is my mother who was located during the service by Prophet Andres Simono who ministered upon her life. Ma, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Larato. I'm from Soweto, Middle East. Ma, today during the service, Prophet Andres located you and ministered upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yes, the the and uh, prophet uh, prophesied me regarding my workplace that there is someone that is behind, like my work that is having a problem with me. Let the uh, God reveal everything. If when there is someone that is uh, against me, let the power of God be done. Yes. And how do you feel that prophet Andres located you and warned you regarding a certain woman at your workplace? Uh, I feel free. Uh, I, I just thank God that this thing is revealed and he prayed for me and I, I believe that everything has stopped. Nothing will happen to me. In Jesus' name, amen.